Yeah, it's my Bofa. Now, can you see inside? I mean, if it's if it's loud, I mean, am I loud? Can you hear me or no? I already got it set up, so you don't have to worry about me doing that. I apologize. I'm not the best with this. I do plan to get better. Um, it's just cha chaotic with just being... <laughs> All right, cool. I'll show y'all um, here. This is my hypothetically thinking. <laughs> I just want to see if it'll work. So I went to ESAD Arms uh, right over here by me. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for the help. Got two um, upper and lowers, blanks, stripped. Y'all know the deal. And then laid this out because I, I woke up the other night. All right, hang on. I apologize. I'm going to have to fine tune this at a later time. I don't want to keep everybody waiting. So basically, after doing that AR I did um, and finished earlier this week, I was like, I think this can be done. I honestly do. And so I laid this out. I apologize if my Bofa, if you can hear it, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but hopefully y'all can hear me and my mumbling. So I went and got this Anderson Manufacturing AM15, leveled it out, lined up the artwork. I popped in my 330 lens, got it, did the little magical mathematical rigor maru, and I think it's good. So we're just going to have to pull the trigger and find out. And that's what we're here to do. So now let me see if I can, if y'all can see this, if not, I will turn the lights off. Yeah, hang on a second. Thank you. I know, you can't really tell, but you get the general idea. Hold on, I think there's a little light on. That's why. Ah. There we go. You get the general idea. More than likely, this is not going to work and it's going to be a failure. So, but either way, at least we'll know. I'm excited. So, let's get this ball going. But I didn't mean to be rude when I said, like, don't worry about the weekly model, what I have. If you go back in my, my history here on YouTube, I've made quite a few videos uh, talking about it and the issues and my thoughts on the make and model. I know, but I want it to include the mic because it sounds cool and then y'all won't hear me breathing and I won't have an anxiety attack, probably speaking. So it kind of helps me feel comfortable. <laughs> Don't ask me why I get anxiety talking into a microphone. I just do. Well, I know why. It's because I keep, I like, my ADHD will take over and we'll start talking about dinosaurs and the Mayans and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm trying to, I don't want to <laughs> go out of left field here. All right, so that is, it's not what I meant to do, but it'll work. Yeah, if you go back in my history here on 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 YouTube, you'll you'll figure out who the make and model. I just don't recommend the one I have. It's not worth it unless you have all the money in the world and and don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's not why I bought this one, but it, I bought it for a specific purpose. 
and some other things and it's just it, not there yet so all right so this computer that's slaved to my machine isn't ideal for how complex this artwork is so it is a bit slow and hopefully it doesn't um shit bricks <laughs> let me go to do this let it might we'll see what happens and if you're on facebook i got banned again for 30 days i lasted like 24 hours so uh i think my stories for some reason worked i don't really know all i know is i can't make jokes anymore so I'll see you on there in like 29 days. Deep engraving. I'm gonna go with the hatch. I put it at 0 0.02 millimeters. <laughs> yeah. No, but I try to. I, I try to stay focused with this stuff though I don't you know I'm down for those conversations too I could talk about that all night all right here we go but we're here to laser engrave firearms and firearms accessories and fail almost ready Get the load come on There we go. Also, at the end of this stream, as a bonus feature, if you're watching, I went and bought probably the coolest revolver that God has ever made on this earth. And I'll show it to you. I got it here. It was a late birthday present to myself. And I do plan on engraving on it once I'm done with my next surgery afterwards. And I'll show that afterwards. Yeah. Man, it wasn't even like, even like I'd understand like if I said something that was completely obvious, you know, but I didn't. And I didn't the time before either. It's the algorithms. I guess the more you get triggered by the algorithms, the more the algorithms are not going to let you breathe. So that's, I think that's what happened. All right. I think we're ready. I think winning numbers 21. 21 for what? <laughs> we ain't playing blackjack over here. All right. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. Shout out to Anderson Manufacturing. They'll hype you up. If you do something on them, on their stuff, tag them. Show them some love. They show it back. I find that really awesome. All right, so. All right, push the button. I also have another camera positioned on the back side so we can take a look when it gets over there. Firefly! I'd play some music in the background, but they'll automatically copyright it. So, hum Interstellar by Hans Zimmer in your brain. It's fine. The tricky part is the upper. So we'll see. This is exciting.
And then uh, once he gets done with his first pass, then the second pass, if you have my artwork, I usually include what I call the one colored negative, and then we'll run a pass on that, and that will invert the colors, and uh, we'll get a better idea how it's gonna look. This is the one color that I usually label it as. We'll see what happens. That, sir, I don't know if there's like a word to explain it, but basically there's a curvature with lenses and lasers and also like my camera lenses. And if you set it right and then you focus your height for that lens you're using, it theoretically uh, should be right. And that's what we're doing here. Uh, Measurement wise, you take the lowest port part of the item you're engraving on, get the height for that, and then you get the highest point that you're engraving for that. You add those together, divide it by two, and theoretically that should be the sweet spot. So it's all even, pretty much, and it goes around the curves, theoretically. I don't know if there's a word for this, or or if I'm, I'm just kind of dumb, so I think that's the only way I can really explain it. I've just never done it on a big solid, because that AI I did earlier this week was 13 different pieces on each side. And it would save me so much time if I could just do it in one, in one part. And that was my dream. I woke up the other night and I'm like, is this possible? And my other part of myself was like, I don't know, but we gotta figure it out. Because if you never try it, then you never know. So that's why we're here, doing scientific work for the future. As for light burn, no, I don't have it. I don't use it. Um, the software I use is the software that the manufacturer makes for this machine. And the way I see it, it's probably best not to rock that boat. But when I do get another laser, I will be dabbling. But for this one, I'm just trying to keep it OEM as much as possible. Yes, sir, I'd have to agree. We, we, we are now proceeding onto the upper receiver. Yeah, no problem, man. And then also, uh, one thing I, I want to get into trying to do is at least once a week do like a Q&A live stream. Because I have my uh, design computer here at the shop as well that I can pull up on screen and, and answer questions and show y'all things. Because I know my tutorials I've made in the past aren't, <laughs> aren't ideal to say the least. But... You know, I want to work on being better at, at publicly speaking and and making sense of things and helping out. Here we go, we're going over the hump. I'm gonna try to adjust the lighting on the other camera so we can kind of see it better. Hang on. The other camera isn't cooperating, and I don't want to miss this part, so I'll load it in a minute. So far, the the laser seems pretty been pretty even on all the spots. We are so close! Oh my god, this is gonna be so cool if this works.
And then not to mention it'll save me probably half the time on each side. Working. Hang on, I apologize the other camera. I don't know why it's not cooperating. Um, I think we did it. I think this is actually going to work. I can't really show you on the other camera for some reason. Dude, this is uh, this is pretty exciting. Now, when I made the template for this, it's kind of sloppy. Didn't want to spend too much time on it if it wasn't gonna work. But uh, oh boy, it's actually worked. Now the next part is going to be pretty, pretty interesting as well when I do the negative. This worked, man. All right. Looks like I'm going to be at the shop for a while tonight because we going deep. And uh, once again, for anybody tuning in or whatever else, if you have a laser, I'm using the 330 lens. Um, and yeah, the vice is called a Pana vice and they're actually, they're pretty awesome. I got a few of them here at the shop. You can get them on Amazon. Highly recommend it. Man, I'm excited. This is great. This is great. I didn't think this was going to work. And I do appreciate y'all tuning in on a Friday night. All right, could think of no better place I'd rather be right now. This is gonna be pretty cool. What's the full spectrum laser? I haven't heard of that one. Is it a? It's a fiber galvo. And yeah, learning wise, like even with this machine, it, I got it a year ago, this month, and uh, it, you know, I've just been trying everything. It's pretty fun, man. Now if I can just get better at streaming, I'll be getting somewhere. Nice. Yeah, the open ones, um, you know, just make sure you're, you're, you have your eye protection on 
and uh, your, your filtration working good. Uh, the next ones I buy will probably be open air, but I may get enclosures for them. Main reason is with my eyes. I had LASIK uh, a year and a half ago, and it went wrong and I had to do it again. And so it was just bad. It, I don't want my eyes to get worse. So, and uh, well, I have to look them up. This is great. This is worth my AC in my shop not working as good as I wish it was. It's hot in here. I'm going to turn the fan on in a minute. So once this finishes and gets to the back towards where the butt stock will be, and then I'll, I'll fire up the negative, and that will be a faster one-two punch. And then I'll show you all what I got today at the gun store. Shout out. I went to Carter's Country. And... They didn't have that there last week when I went, and then I've been looking for one. So I was like, uh, okay, I guess I'm going to take it home. It's pretty. It's beautiful. Y'all are going to like it. Some people some people will be like, why do you even need one of those? What do you even do with that? You never know. I may be in Alaska one day, and 16 grizzly bears surround me, and they want to, like, duel do it out and fight and I, I ain't about that life so I'm gonna have one of these on hand <laughs> and by the way I have like a bajillion cameras in this machine too don't ask me why it's purple I don't have an answer for you it, it does that and then there's this one and then I got this one <laughs> but the DSLRs are the ones that work the best all right let me uh, adjust them to focus I can't type but emoji dab thing as well I need to set up one more camera that I'll show like me, while I'm waving my arms here talking to y'all. We'll get there. This actually works. This is pretty cool. And I could have been lazy with the design and just not cut out the parts. But, you know, if you're going to do this, don't be lazy with it. Show some initiative. And purpose in your artwork and you'll end up doing this yeah I do like if you are anything like me I got a, a TV with a monitor above the laser that's showing what you are seeing and I just I'm just glued to it like it's hypnotizing me this stuff is, I'm just as much of a fan of this stuff as any of y'all. People are like, where'd you get done with the shot today? And I'd be like, absolutely nothing. I was moth effect on the TV the whole time. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, hit the like button, that'd be great. I am monetized, but uh, every single video I, I have pretty much is demonetized for either the music I use, because I refuse to use elevator music oh boy oh boy or cuz uh, you know the pip juice all right here we go let me set this but full disclosure I did not expect this to work <laughs> and now that it did it's gonna be a long night here at the shop cuz we going deep all right, now we're set for the negative, bi-directional. You all ready? This is like the coolest part. Yeah, it, it definitely, it's like magic, man. Especially when you like, you get it just right. You know, the artwork's fun. There you go. Uh-oh. 
What is that? Oh, it's the air. Shit. I think. Honestly, I have no idea what it's doing. It's not good. Why does it look like that? We'll see what happens on the next pass. I don't know if it's the metal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, shit. There. All right, I'll try something. Here. Hang on. Let's do this. The thing with marking on the aluminum is removing the black, but this will highlight the uh, scrolls, and then we'll do a darker hatch on the one color. I don't know if there's just like weird impurities in the um, aluminum here. All right, cook it off right, but we're doing a clean pass here. Do the clean pass here, and this should remove the. I'm guessing it's like weird impurities in the outer coating that weren't cooking right. Because when I do the one color highlights, I don't use uh, a heavy handed um, parameter for it, so that's probably what it is. So that's a clean it up. It may sound like I know what I'm talking about. Theoretically, yes, but I don't know how to explain how I know this. I do too. I don't like the sound my bofa makes. It makes me want to go to sleep.
hopefully the string quality is good enough and y'all can kind of see where the artwork is. Yeah, this is gonna be good. We're still in the game. Like I said, I think it was just some impurities with all this. And I'll go ahead and show you all what I got today at Carter's Country. Been wanting one of these for years. Someone who was like a dad to me, his name was Mark. He had one of these and he loved it. He liked to, to show it to folks because they're really fun. All right. So, I gotta think of a fun name for this one. As soon as I left the gun shop, I called my dad. I was like, yeah, you guys see what I got. You home? He's like, yeah. Now it's a Smith & Wesson 500. Eight inch barrel. I'm pretty sure the biggest revolver you can get. Ever created by man. I'm not sure how long this engraving is going to take tonight, but once I'm able to move the upper and lower here, I'll give you all a better looky loo. But y'all are the first to know, aside from my dad and my nephew, who's there, who didn't understand why I needed one until he picked it up. I'm pretty sure he understood why, because it's awesome. Shout out to Eli. Dude's like seven feet tall. All right, here we go. Yes, both hands for sure. Unless you have super hands like I'm hopefully going to have after surgery is done. I'm still healing on my left arm. My right arm is next. That's going to suck because I can. I almost, bought, I almost asked if they had to, <laughs> but I didn't because I would have bought two of them but I almost <laughs> I almost asked all right here you go let me make this I think what I'll do slow it down just a smidge tighten the hatch just a smidge Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Now I gotta find ammo for it. There is a gun show tomorrow. I just don't know if I'm gonna wanna go all the way to that side of town. 
It's far. But I am looking for, I asked on Facebook before I got banned again, uh, a revolver, if anybody has like, you know, ones they'd like me to do a custom design for, for my store. Uh, the 38s from the Smith & Wessons, I, I didn't really understand what exactly y'all were looking for. Um, Model-wise, ideally what I need. Um, the Smith & Wesson 500, I do plan to do something for that, but that'll be long after all my hands are fixed. And I make something completely awesome for it. It's worthy. I also have the Colt Python 6-inch barrel. So I'll be getting done too when I'm ready. But cheaper wise on the revolvers, uh, y'all said the Chiapas, I can't find those anywhere. I don't know where y'all getting all those Chiapa Rhino things at. There may be one at the gun show tomorrow and I'll pick it up if I go and I can find one, but both are highly unlikely. <laughs> but, uh, and then the Taurus, there was a lot of, Tauruses, but there's so many model makes and variants and stuff. I need some specifics. So if y'all can go on my post on Facebook and be specific, because I will also want to do something that's affordable, so y'all can buy, turn it around, not buy a bunch of Smith and Wesson 500s at one time. That would be irresponsible, unless you're like Jesse James or somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this looks great. I can see it slow it down a little bit, tighten the hatch, it'll get darker. Pretty sure what we saw <clears throat> on that cleanup run with the negative was just impurities in the metal or in paint or whatever. Uh, expensive is okay if it's worth it. That's all I'm saying. Especially doing this for a living. It's this is like a dream come true, man. So I'm just excited to finally get my hands fixed so I'm not miserable when I'm drawing so I get better at scrolls and pay respect to the, the, the art form of, of scroll work. So if any hand, master hand engravers are watching, I want you to understand that. I'm not here to spit out doo-doo. But I'm also wanting to have my own kind of style with my scrolls too. That takes time. I may need to pop in a 50 lens. You see what that? Yeah, the anodized, and plus I'm sure there's different grades of what they can use for coating. And the anodized stuff, and maybe some cheaper than the other. Uh oh. Hang on. Ah, oh, that is my. Like, I love these cameras I got in this machine, the DSLRs, but it's impossible to turn off the auto, the auto time switch on it. So, but I figured out a sim, a sim my way to work around that, but I got to click a button every 20 minutes or they turn off. But when I upgraded to the DSLRs in the camera, it was night and day quality. Like if you go and look through my recent videos, probably the past six months, you can watch it in 4K. I don't know if you can during the live stream, but on the uploads, 100%. Thank you, Miss Al. Is that Miss Miss Alex? And happy Friday to everyone too. And if you're just tuning in, go back like ten minutes and you'll see what I got today. My birthday present to myself. Kind of late, but she pretty. You think of a name? I named my Barrett. When I, I got my M107A1, I named her Shakira. 
because that's just perfect. So I gotta think of one for the 500. No, it's up. I hope uh, y'all's new expansion and stuff's going well. I keep getting bumped off of Facebook. <laughs> well, but I haven't been on Discord in forever. I tell Alex, I said, what up? I can't believe this actually worked, man. This was like, uh, this was a hypothetical. <laughs> because after doing that last AR, I was like, it'd be really nice if I didn't have to piece it out into 13 different pieces. Yeah, with y'all's new stuff, Last I saw, you have like 20 lasers in that new place. And every time I see uh, Thumbnail Alex, he's like just geeking out. It's awesome. Yeah, this works. Now, to achieve the depth I want, I'm not sure because before I used the 254 lens. But with 13 different pieces. But if this lines up even better, then it may be worth the time loss. <laughs> Innovator. If y'all want to see Innovator, go to Laser Everything. That guy's high speed. I'm more of a. Um, instigator. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. There you go. Oh man, this is great. One thing, if I could, if I had a genie right now and I only got one wish, that one wish would be, can you make my air conditioner work better? That was just my one wish. That's, that's what I would choose. <laughs> it's so hot in here, man. Hopefully I haven't missed anybody's comments. If I have, it's nothing personal. Y'all lucky I ain't talking about the Mayans and dinosaurs and solar novas and stuff right now. It's off in the ADHD confusion. Oh, but what I was also going to say is... I can do this. If y'all you you have any questions, I'm like, how do you do this, out? Show me how you do it. Don't get off in a tangent with Mayans and dinosaurs. And then I can be like, right here. See? Mayans and dinosaurs. So, feel free to ask away. This, this, this kind of platform for doing like Q&A would probably be better for teaching because when I'm making those tutorial videos, I'm off on my own and there's no telling where that story is going to go. So, live streaming, I can better here and now kind of pay attention.
This actually worked. That is nuts. Hello, Mrs. Wayne. How are you? Where's Batman? Where's he at? What's he doing? It's Friday night. Ah, there he is. How you doing? Hey, Mr. Wayne. Mrs. Wayne, if y'all go back like five minutes, maybe like ten, I show y'all what I got today from Carter's Country. It is probably my dream revolver that I've always wanted. <laughs> and I almost bought two of them. I can't show you right now, but I'll do a better show and tell when this is done. And the cool part about doing it this way where it does lose power on some of the areas is it's a, it'll be a gradient like fade so when you were to get this air coated or whatever afterwards I mean it wouldn't be like a, a hard edge or hard two different areas uh oh uh oh yeah okay, go check it out chop chop so not excusing the flaws but I'm just saying a gradual uh, fade is always better than a, you know, an obvious edge of two different areas. Let me see if I can zoom this in. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is a Smith & Wesson 500. How you doing? Eight inch. Eight inch. The biggest one ever. <laughs> but yeah, it is. Uh, that's that's her. Now, I did buy two of these uppers and lowers, and now I have another hypothesis with how I did the focus height, is next time, if I measure just below the lowest part and just above the highest part and do the mathematical equation for that, that may compensate for a little bit of the slippage. Yeah, the 500, yeah. I like immediately, as soon as I left the gun store, I called my dad. Like, that's what I got. Yo, I'm going to show you. I've been wanting one for a while, but one finding them is not easy. So. And I, I, I justify the purchase as a late birthday present. Because why not? But eventually... After my next surgery and my hands are fixed, I'll, I will do a design for it and engrave it. But I hope y'all having a wonderful evening. Hopefully where you are, the AC is working beautifully and y'all are cold, but not too cold and comfortable. Because I'm not. It's hot in here. 
but we're making some beautiful artwork with beautiful people, so I can't complain. Let me do the focus thing. Thank you, sign specialist. I hope you and the wide format printers fly as well. I miss ripping and printing. Fun fact, I started doing graphic design work in a sign shop. I remember in the interview, he's like, do you know what vectors are? And I'm like, yes, sir. And he's like, hired. But I didn't know what a vector at all was. But I learned. Was it raining inside your house, Mrs. Wayne? That's, you know, that would be a problem. I can get some shingles, help you out, patch that hole up. I got a fan right here I want to turn on, but if I do, y'all won't be able to hear me. This thing will be a Hurricane Cat 6 Streamline Super Fan Max. That's all it says on it. Are y'all going to any gun shows this weekend? I might go to one tomorrow. I just don't want to drive that far. But let me find something I want. CNC and no KC. We got an Oki. We got an Oki in the house. That would be cool. Shoot me an email. Let me know how much you would charge. I don't know what shipping would be with something like that, but that would be really cool. I got, uh, I've just built a new wall in my shop that goes across the whole front, kind of airlock. And I need to put something on it, so that would be, that'd be awesome. In the uh, description, there's a link to my website, and you can fill out. The uh, contact form, but my email's on there. I'm not by the keyboard at the moment. But hell yeah, that'd be cool. You let me know. I've got a bunch of friends up in Oklahoma. One of them, he was a scout sniper. They went in the army. That's how I met him. This dude was the most badass dude I ever met. Now, well, last I, I saw, he was climbing trees and cutting them down. Like a devil dog, you know, just crazy people up in the air there. You know how those guys are. Jumping tree to tree. You won't catch me up in a tree unless there's something at the bottom of that tree about to eat me. Oh, the Kentucky. I meant to say something on uh, Facebook about it, but I've been banned. Hopefully, yeah, that's rough. I've seen pictures. Hopefully you're on a tall hill. What's the temperature of the laser? You mean inside or outside? Or where it's cutting? Well, drive-wise, I don't know when you'd want to do that, but I'm in between surgeries right now, so we'll probably have to wait till later this year. But that'd be cool. Yeah, shoot me an email. T. Booker. You just got in and you're about to pass out. The hell you are. Wake up. Drink some water. Splash them in your face. You got stuff to do. It's a very powerful laser. It's a 50 watt though. Nothing special. The power is in the artwork. Yeah. I got to say it. Awesome. Sounds good, man. Where it cuts, it depends on the the metal you're engraving. 
This is aluminum. I could theoretically reach my hand in there, pull it out, the laser may burn me, but the metal will be just fine. I can't say the same for steel. You do that, you're gonna you're gonna get my design in your hand for the rest of your life. But actually I have um I have one hang on. Hang on. Well, I don't know where I put it. But I have one of those laser thermometers. Ah, I found it. All right, I'll tell you how, what it's, what it's at. Hang on. I said like 91 to 101 where the laser is, but it's cooler where the laser isn't. But yeah, still it gets a lot hotter. But the fume extractor also takes out some of the heat inside the machine, so it don't get too hot in there. I just got an old AC unit on the top of the building I can't access to tinker with. You feel out on stuff like, oh, if I'd say you're going to feel burnt, you do it on the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Like when I was doing testing last year, on different metals. It was interesting because some stuff you can immediately grab right out of the machine, some stuff you can't. But, um, what I may have to end up doing here is I would like to do more show and tell with the 500, but may have to save that for t this weekend at some time because I would be, it'd be better beneficial for me. I also have those, I don't know if you saw that Cerakote video. Um, that's on my side. Yeah, that Sarah, I still got those AKs I need to put together and do some stuff around the shop. And I won't be able to do it if I'm live streaming. So, but, y'all let me know. I know y'all just got in, but it is late. If y'all want me to continue, I don't mind. Um, but... Oh, from the receiver. Well, you should get to sleep. It is late, too. As for the 80%, yeah, I could. Um, I'd say wait. Hold up till later this year. Like, right now, I'm in a weird spot because the surgery. Oh, hold on. Because of surgery and all that stuff. Um, but once I'm done with all of that, I'll be ready. All right. What's the power at? But yeah, I mean, I've had really good uh, runs here with these ARs. They'll definitely only get better. I wish I could find some raw aluminum, but I want 100%, so I don't need 80s. I ain't got time for that. Cool. 
All right, so y'all let me know. Y'all want to watch it a little more? Or y'all have any questions? I'm an open book, but I'm a book that has to has to focus and, and also get work done with some other stuff. So y'all let me know. I'm going to let it rip on another. And another thing, I will try to uh, make a time lapse with this. Yeah, the recovery isn't going as fast as I was hoping. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, it, my wrist, like the elbow part isn't as bad unless I hit it on something. But the wrist, like I was just hoping it'd be faster. But I have a uh, physical therapist lady who's going to help because I need... I need to make sure like I don't have build up a scar tissue so they're gonna voodoo David Blaine massage my hand but the scarring's healed up pretty good and the bruises are almost all gone so at least it doesn't look like I just got ran over outside in the parking lot and definitely Mr. T Booker keep up if you don't hear from me yeah shoot me another email I don't bite I don't mind Cause you can sleep in tomorrow, but that's where that's where you're wrong. Cause a squirrel is gonna be at your window or something, or a bird that you've never heard before in your life, and wake you up. Cause that's what happens when you say you're gonna sleep in in the morning. So you, you just messed up. Shouldn't have said that. Cause every time I do it, it'll be like 5:30, and it'll be some bird outside I've never heard before chirp chirping its ass off. And makes me want to grab the 870 and chirp, chirp its life out. If I do get up early in the morning, then I'll go to the gun show. But we'll see. I just don't know how exciting this is for you guys after a certain amount of time watching the laser. Game to watch. Sounds good. My narration may slow down, but I'm going to try to keep an eye on chat as well. I think with uh, streaming on YouTube, the two hour mark is usually the, like the golden stream link for processing. So I'll go another 45 minutes. Lasers are definitely exciting. <laughs> this is, this is, I, this is, I mean, lasers you can stick guns inside of, and laser is even more exciting. I don't even know. I didn't, like, when I found out people were doing this, I was like, oh my god. Sign me up. I wish somebody from Facebook would tune in the chat. And they see what I do and they'd be like, oh, we're so sorry. Let's unban you from Facebook because you're an artist and you're awesome. And we're terrible people. But that's not going to happen. But I did get one more of these um, blanks. And I think I know how to even make it better now. Ah, uh, damn. Well, at least you're home. I remember when I was in the hospital where I had to get surgery, like two weeks ago. Like, they, were, they wheeled me into the uh, surgery room, and, like, they were about to knock me out. And the lady, she's like, oh, by the way, we're going to stick a tube down your mouth so you can breathe. Like, right before, like, that was the last thing I remembered. I'm like, why would they tell me that? I didn't know that was a thing. I thought I was just getting like the nose, the air hose, you know, little, little, little two notches they put in your nose. Nope. That was the worst timing awards for that lady. <laughs> that was like the last thing I remember before I just, out. I was like, that was just that. Like, why would you tell me that?
And me too, Mr. Terry, me too. My thing is, I just don't have enough, I just want to draw more and get better at it. And so, it's like, I, I don't know, I get, you know, like, I apologize if someone's watching who's emailed me probably multiple times to do their stuff and I haven't gotten back to you. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's just time wise, it's frustrating. I hate telling people I can't right now. I need help. <laughs> You're allowed to do that. Yeah, the night, right before. Yeah, that's. I guess that's a common thing to do. Like, let's freak, freak the, the, the client or whatever, the sick person. Let's freak them out right before surgery. I mean, I was like, they could have told me like an hour before, and I really had time to process what they just said. But no. <laughs> the last thing I remember, I remember. I forgot who, what her face looked like. But when I woke up, I was apparently talking to the other nurses about Cracker Barrel. Cause I really wanted some Cracker Barrel, I guess. And I don't know how long I was talking about Cracker Barrel, but it definitely was a good idea. But for this next time I go, I'm gonna bring them a bunch of my coloring books. Kind of bribe them, so hopefully they don't. Hopefully, if they're like, "Oh, he, he's, he's 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 coding, he's coding," they'll be like, "He's the coloring book guy," and then they save me. So we'll see. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, I think the, one of your videos, I saw that, that Henry you mentioned before, the H001 with the, the scope mounted on top, like a true marksman. So, yeah, before on the one I finished up earlier this week, I did it with a smaller lens and I did 14 passes both ways was I think the average with this I don't know with the 330 um, so far we're on like what six so maybe a few more it just depends on time too I didn't really expect to be here late tonight because honestly thought this wasn't gonna work um, well, I probably will try to do the same. It probably won't be as deep as my last one, but it'll be a good area to stop and then get uh, the magnifying glass on it and hands on and see where I can improve for the next one. Hopefully that made sense. Yeah, I got a few more of those Henry receivers here for that rifle. I'm going to do, I have on the board, I wrote live stream tutorial with Henry H001. Bundle, stacking, prepping, and production. That's what I have on my board. And so I, I will be doing another Henry cover soon. So, I could mail you out one of the covers. Who's yo, yo, yo? Yo, yo, Flying Rich. How you doing? Never give a cop your pilot's license. I learned that from your stream earlier. And I emailed uh, Crump a question earlier, which I thought was, like I thought what I witnessed on Wednesday was normal. Apparently it wasn't. So that was fun. I don't want to publicly talk about all I hear. It has to do with rules and regulations and regulators. 
and what I do, and you do, and y'all talk about Pyro Dome. If I had to guess, this guy was a pyro who likes fire, fire in the realm of somewhere in a parish, not a county. Louisiana, maybe? I usually do that red out thing. And I know this because half my family is over there. Sounds good, man. Yeah, those H, uh, the H001s, those Henry covers are like super easy. Super, super easy. So, I mean, shit, email me, like, your idea, and then I could do that on live stream as part of the tutorial, and then send it to you. Like, you'd think with those Henry's, that those covers would be really expensive, but, uh, they're not. <laughs> Even the brass ones. When I found out, I was like, damn, I don't, I don't have to buy a $600 22 long rifle Henry. The, the engraving one, I just got to spend 40 bucks for the, they call them covers. I call them directly. I didn't know if that was proper um, etiquette to do so, but they were cool. Shout out to Henry. Their, their, uh, their business tagline, however, reminds me of Nerf, and I'll never forget that. It's Henry, made in America or not at all. And Nerf is, it's Nerf. Or nothing. I find that ironic. Alright, but Mr. Fire Rich, hope you're having a good evening. Oh, you see the purple? Purple beams. This is, I'm evolving my AR 14 to grow hands. Someone tell Sheila Jackson Lee. She said that happens. Post processing. As for the ARs, aside from blowing it off with my um, air compressor, no. Uh, the the plan before was to get it seracoded. I just I found one and that turned out to be a disaster. So I'm trying to find more. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I did also find a place to shoot uh, Shakira when I was doing that FFL meeting this week. That range where it was at the Law 50s, and I'm like, oh boy, y'all shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> Cause I'm excited. Oh, Mr. Rich, uh, I, I'll have to, okay, you'll have to go back and kind of see it, and I'll have to do a proper show until later, but check this out. You'll appreciate this. I got something today from Carter's Country, and I don't know what to name it yet, but I'll show you. And if you were to say, is that the 500? I'd say you are correct, sir. Smith & Wesson, 8 inch. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I saw Crump flexing with his big Taurus, whatever that was. <laughs> like, all right, I'm going to get me one. But yeah. Yeah, it's the 500. That's the big, that's the big girl. And I thought the Cole Python I bought was big. <laughs> but I've actually shot one of these before. Great man I once knew named Mark. Crazy. Crazy man. He had a 500. He, they're just, they're fun to shoot. Not all the time, but you know. To say you've done it. But I wonder what it's like to draw on one. That's the plan. So... Rich also has a 50 cal. Yes, sir, he does. If you go like his channel, you can see it. Sometimes it just magically appears behind him, around him. 
We call that a 50 flex. So what up? I'd do it, but Shakira ain't here right now and she doesn't fit in the machine, so. It, the uh, the case hardening, is that what you were showing the other night on your stream with like the old like rustic blue type like watercolor look? Is that is that what you're referring to? Because I can definitely engrave it. I just don't know what I, how it turned out. Hell yeah, watermelon pop. Fun fact, if you ever get some of that those reactive targets, those are always fun. Especially with watermelons. And what you want to do is get some Gorilla Tape, add a few layers to that canister, and you shove it in the keister of that watermelon, make it rain. Um, it depends on the artwork, and it depends on what we're doing specifically. I will be doing a 1911 at some point this weekend. I still have a few of the, those import T cells that I want to do. Uh, some more stuff on. I have a, like how I did the wraparound stuff on those blocks. I want to try it on one of the 1911 slides, but uh, I have it in my notes. I mean, it's about all together six hours maybe in grave time if we're doing the full frame and grips like uh, I did with that Kimber. But slide wise, probably got three hours. Just depends on the artwork. But I'll be doing one this weekend, so I, I can confirm that. Soon. And if anybody has one of those Chiapa Rhino 40 DSs, I'm, I'm looking for one. If I do go to the gun show tomorrow, drive all the way out there, hopefully they have one. I doubt it, though. How long does this side take? Uh, oh, I... I sight on this, well, on the ARs that I just finished up, which were broken into 13 pieces, that took about four hours. Um, I'm thinking this, if the go as deep, will probably be around the same for this. I don't have to go as deep, but... This one's kind of like an experimental piece, so I kind of want to do the same amount I did last time to get a good eye on it. Um, it can if you have a more powerful laser. Like, I have a 50 watt. If I'd have known that I needed to get bigger lenses, and if you use bigger lenses, you lose power, I would have probably got a 100 watt. But you'd still be looking at time. You don't want to cook it all in one go. Um, that never. I don't think that would turn out well. Um, but you can. I mean, the depth on it, y'all can't really tell. I mean, it's still deep enough, you know, to where if you want the paint, you'd notice it. But I want to go deeper. But yeah, the uh, that AR that I finished up earlier this week, I posted that video on. Each side took about four hours. But. It was broken into 13 different pieces. This was not supposed to work, but it did. So this is just one piece. This is pretty cool. We'll just see what the pros and cons are with it. If that's what you meant by one pass. In Texas, do you have any laws where you can engrave? No. Um, no, like, as far as I'm aware with with the markings on the farm. Like I'm an 07 manufacturer, so if I did go over like, say this is Anderson manufacturer and wherever the hell USA it's made would be on it. If I went over that, I'd put Frag Out Firearms Spring Texas on it somewhere. Um, but the serial number, absolutely do not touch. I even asked one of the ATF agents this past week because I heard that there's a process to where you can relocate a serial number on a firearm to a different part on the firearm, uh, she laughed at me pretty hard. So that was obviously a stupid question, um, which is sucks because I wish you could do that. But uh, you're best to 
from what I understand, it's just not go over, you know, the manufacturer and city and state that's on there. The, the model of it, I think you'd be okay. I'm not a legal professional nor advisor. I am a retarded hamster. So please do your research on this and don't take what I'm saying as legal advice. <laughs> Definitely look it up. But I avoid the markings. Um, I don't want to get in trouble. I have not put a hot dog in the laser. I don't have any hot dogs at the shop. But now I probably will have to try this because I never even thought to do that. Do you do a constant depth for all your deep engravings? Most of them are around the same. Um, I've I've been using I've been kind of just engraving on everything I, I got, and the different steels uh, are affected with different settings in the machine. But most of my stuff is around the same depth. I like it that deep. It doesn't have to go. I could go deeper, um, but also, you know, like this is an Anderson, not bashing Anderson, shout out to Anderson, they were very sweet, um, you know, but it is an Anderson. <laughs> if it was, you know, something that cost a lot more, I may be more precise on it. And, I, and I'll say this too, if, if they still had 24 hour stores, like I wish they, man, that's been the biggest frustration ever since the CV stuff happened. They never brought the 24 hour stores back. And as a person like me, who's one dude running a business and doing all this himself, like I don't have, I can't go grocery shopping on the same day at the same time every day. I used to go grocery shopping at like two in the morning to get those hot dogs to randomly experiment with. But now I can't do it because Walmart's already closed. So if I wanted, if someone was like, I'll give you a million dollars. You laser engrave a hot dog right now. Well, I would have just lost out on a million dollars. So, I want my 24 hour stores back. Rant over. And I could have been lazier with how I laid this one out and not cut out the spots, but I wanted to see what would happen if I did and how precise it'd be. It should actually work. I, I haven't seen anybody else try this. The main reason why I wanted to do it. And now that it worked, I got more work <laughs> to do. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a funny video of just chaos. But here we are. And I haven't had a hot dog in forever. I used to, uh, my first job, we worked at a laser tag place. I was, my title was a rage master, I was a referee. And the place is called Laser Rage. And we had hot dogs and like we made pizzas, but we'd run the hot dogs through the pizza machine. That was great. This is a 330 millimeter. How you doing? The king's back. Boys, what up? We got TI in the house. Later, Mr. Rich. Sleep tight. Don't let them mosquitoes bite out there in Florida. For a stipple job, what would you consider a stipple job? Like on the uh, the Glocks, the polymers I did, or this? Yeah, this is this is probably the biggest chunk of stuff I've done at one time. Yeah, I think this is probably the well aside from the ammo can, but that wasn't deep engraved. Fun fact, this artwork is from the ammo can bundle. If you buy the ammo can bundle, the artwork in there, you can slap in other stuff like this. Fun fact. I even have a 420 lens. That's not a marijuana joke, it is a real thing. It cost me 4,000 something dollars. On the, the Glocks, I don't know off the top of my head, but I do have notes. The Glocks were easy they, they took no time at all let me um pop in another lens what is this one 10 to 22 24 50 
Let's see what this looks like. Hang on, I'm going to swap out one of the camera lenses. See if we can get in on some detail. Any magazines? Yes, sir. I've done. I've done all kinds of magazines. Uh, if you go back, I think a couple. I think I did it right before I had surgery. I did those AK mags, and then yeah, I've done P mags. Actually, I'll show you my favorite magazine in the whole world is right here in my handy dandy shotgun. No, we got we got armed guards here at the shop, armed with Colt AR, ARs with ostrich mags. So d no criminals come here. We ain't we ain't playing around. The ostrich pee mag is probably just my most favorite thing in the world. Absolutely. The original clock block engravings on a raw slide. Um, I will be. <laughs> uh, shoot me an email. I, I have like a hundred P mags here at the shop I can engrave on. That takes no time at all. As for uh, doing commissions, once I'm having surgery on, I just had surgery on my left arm. I'm having surgery on my right arm at the end of this month. Uh, once I'm healed from that, I will be taking on commission selectively until the the thing that making that makes this hard is I was looking to hopefully hire like one or two people to help at the shop, but the economy and all that, you know, you're on you understand what that is. So it's kind of made me like, you know, wait out planning some things. But I do plan on doing commissions. Um, it's just it's gonna have to be selectively and it won't be because there's, there's a lot of y'all who want stuff done, and I feel so bad uh, that I haven't been able to really help anybody yet with that. But I do plan to do that. I just, first thing I got to get done is my surgery, so I'm not miserable uh, drawing all the time. But yes, just just hang on for me. I guess it, reach out to me next month. Um, I probably still won't be ready yet, but I might. I might. I wouldn't say this time next month because I'll still be recovering from surgery. But we're getting there. Yeah, as for my arms, I'm excited. I am just really ex excited. They hurt right now still. That's the unfortunate, like the one I got done already. I was hoping I wouldn't, recovery wouldn't have taken this long, but I'm impatient. But if all goes to plan and not like LASIK surgery went, we'll be good. Peace out. Got to get up in the morning and do the hustle. That's what's up, bro. Get to sleep. Go, go to sleep right now. Go. Turn off the lights. What are you waiting for? Got stuff to do. Hire me. Where are you at? Hire me, too. <laughs> Man, I'm. it'll happen. I will be hiring at some point unless the economy gets worse. And then I'm gonna have to kinda hold my marbles. We'll see.
because one thing's for sure is I do want to do commissions and I want to do stuff, but I also want to, I don't want to take away from drawing and creating more, uh, which is, you know, just kind of made all this happen. So if I could have someone that runs the machine, that'd be great. If I could find a local Sarah Coder, that'd be great too. We tried that once, didn't really work out too well, but maybe twice, maybe on the second time, we'll see. Massachusetts. Well, that's uh, going to be a lump of meat, sir. Do you have a teleportation machine? If so, that may be good. <sighs> Massachusetts. I don't know if I've ever been to Massachusetts, but I have been to Virginia. And when I was stationed in Virginia, there's a place called Williamsburg, or Williamstown, and there's a man there named Christopher Columbus, and that man snatched a dollar out of my hand and ran off. And I was very confused, because it was a colonial man named Christopher Columbus, and I don't even time traveling people up there, I don't really know. But if, if any of y'all see Christopher Columbus, I want my dollar back. Not even joke. He snatched that. I didn't even know this man. I was in this old town. Christopher Columbus took my money. And that's the true story. I got a picture somewhere with this Christopher Columbus dollar snatcher. I'll have to find it. Man, if there's one thing I wish I had at my shop was access to get on the roof. And you'd think, oh, why is that, Frag out? What are you going to do on the roof? Have a picnic? And I'd be like, that'd be nice. But no. So my AC unit is. I want to, like, see what's wrong with it. Because it's not working right. But I can't. I do have a ladder, but it doesn't quite reach up there. I could do the redneck thing, put that in the back of my truck, and maybe strap another ladder to that and then do but I'd just be bad because then that it would fall apart and I'd be trapped on the roof and then people would be like, Frag out, why are you trapped on the roof? And I'd be like, I don't feel like answering questions right now. So, you know, these are the scenarios that run through my head. But that's the thing. Yeah, in the FFL the hardest part is is just the time it takes. But it's worth it man. I, I just got my SOT last week. Um, I don't really know why. After I had a, there was a FFL ATF seminar, like I guess annual meeting that I went to on Wednesday. And the ATF guy was looking at me like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I don't really know, but just in case I needed, I got one. Did they, yeah, but see, they're not having employees stuck up on the roof, and then we'd have. How would I get you down? And then the news choppers would show up and be like, terrible boss, put employee on roof. Breaking news. And then I'd be panicking because I'm like, there's a helicopter. And I look like I'm yelling at you when I'm really trying to hear you because we're outside by the freeway. And they'd be like, oh, he's yelling at his employee that's stuck on the roof now. Look at him. He's a great boss. And then I'd be, you know, I'd be canceled. So, and then I don't know how you get off the roof unless you're going to jump in like the bushes. So... Aim for the bushes, I don't know. Is it chipping? 
I don't know if that's a term for lasers or not. Um, but it, it's late. It's it's engraving. Let me adjust the camera. Yeah, and then they'd be like, oh, breaking news, ABC News 13, they're throwing rockets, they're shooting rockets at the news chopper, breaking news, and then I'd be arrested for that. I do have road flares. You went to Olive Garden, and you're late, yeah, you're late, I don't have any food, where's mine? Where are my breadsticks, bro? The lines, spacing, and hatch pattern. It, it's in my machine. I don't know if it's the same for y'all's. It's called bi-directional, which is like zero degrees and 90. So it's like a grid. And it's usually between 0 0.015 millimeters and 0 0.04. It really depends on what I'm doing. If this was a steel receiver, which I don't even know if they make those, but if it was like something steel I was engraving on, like if you watch some of my other videos, the contrast, that can make it look a lot better where the dark is supposed to be. Aluminum doesn't allow me to do that very well. The bottom left edge. Oh, you, you mean like, so what we're looking at right now, the top left where it looks a little faded? It's not the exact power I'd like it to be at that spot. I could adjust my focus height to be a little more ideal. But this was an experiment. I didn't even think I'd be able to do that. this, but it worked. Okay. Yeah, full disclosure, I didn't expect this to work at all. So the fact that we got a little bit of fading, it's all right. It's it's just turning it all up there, but right. no, I definitely got that area. It's just not as when I did that cleaning pass in the beginning. If you go back, you'll see. Um, now it is a little bit of a lower power at the highest spot in the lowest spot. I need to adjust that for the next time I try this. I did it dead on with the focus. I should have measured a little bit higher than the highest spot and a little bit lower than the lowest spot and I think that would have compensated for that. But the fact that this even <laughs> this even worked is so awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. I haven't seen anybody try a whole one because I thought it'd be just a dumb idea. My son, Mr. Batman has his phone. How many, were y'all all in the same house? Like a big old family. Why, why do you have his phone? I'm so confused. Yeah, but the hatching I'm doing right now is 0 0.015 millimeters. Later, Mr. Ellingtonson. Ben, Ben Ellington, Ellingson, sorry. Hi, my name is RJ. I love watching your work. Hi, my name is Frag Out, and I love that you're here watching my work. Thank you. Yeah, like it was the, you know, just the raw, or the basic anodized black frame you get. I think it was like, I don't know how much I spent. They're cheap. But I'll shout out Anderson Manufacturing again because they hype you up. Like, if you make something with Anderson, tag them. Because they'll shout you out. They're great people. And I appreciate it. I need, like, a telephoto lens so I can really zoom in. Still in here, bro? Well, good. Where are my breadsticks, bro? Hell yeah, dude. That is the spirit. That's why I'm here. 
Like being able to help so many people literally across the world with this stuff is just awesome. That's the most rewarding part of all this. Like, yeah, I get to do guns and, and play around and have fun. But being able to help you guys, that's just, it's fun. <laughs> Which one did you get? A lot of people don't even know I sell shirts. There's a lot of random ones out there. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. Be sure to leave a review if you like it. Those help. I'm starting to get negative reviews on my coloring book. And I'm like, oh, man. There's probably haters. The camera isn't really doing me justice on that top part because it, it's definitely engraved. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Hell yeah, man. That one was fun. I've repurposed it a few times for different things, but I have a few of those in my closet too. Well, hello, Junior. How you doing? Sitting there with y'all watching. About to go to bed I'm like a good son. You gotta mow the yard or something in the morning, you know, get it done, take the initiative. That's the shirt. <laughs> Yeah. For anybody wondering, if you go to my website on the front page, you scroll down to the bottom, and there's the, the, the link to my Amazon for my books, and if you click on Frag Out, the, the name, I think it'll take you to my other shirts. I don't really have an easy way to get to them, I don't think. For laser purchases, I don't have any experience with, with knowing people who've got it from Alibaba. If you're on Facebook... There's only one person I really honestly can recommend to folks and know who they'll be taken care of. If you're into Facebook groups, hit up Richard Zhang. He runs like OMG Laser. And I've been, I've been seeing him do business since I started getting involved. And I've not once seen one person ever be unhappy with his service. And so he's who I recommend. And he sells the JPT 50 watts, 30 watts. All kinds of stuff. He'll get you squared away. If you don't know what group he's in, Fiber Laser Metal Engraving. You can find him on there. Or email me and I'll send you his link. But as for Alibaba, I don't even know. I've never bought from him. I don't know anybody specifically who has. I've heard of it. I know they sell all kinds of whatever. But I don't personally know. But, but thank you again, Mr. Elling, uh, Elling, Ellingson, for getting the book. And if, if Batman's kid ain't in bed yet, we're gonna get to bed. But thank you for watching. JPT60 Mopa, hell yeah, man. And do some colors. Mine's a non Mopa. But. They're pretty cool machines. But RJ, that's his thing. RJ, get to bed. I'll see you next time. Well, get into it, sir. That's all I can say. It's fun. And, you know, just got to pull the trigger. Because like a lot of people do, they'll sit there and want to do it and want to do it. And months go by and... And then they finally do it. They're like, man, I could have started this sooner. And I'm like, yeah. This one's 50. If I could go back and buy, buy a, a different uh, wattage, it would be 100. And that's probably overkill. But a lot of what I do is deep engraving. And uh, so it would just cut the time down. But a 50 is a really good, you know, 
average. A lot of people have 30s. Nothing wrong with those. I wouldn't recommend going below a 30. But you still I'll get you where you need to go. But as for this engraving in my live stream, we're coming up on two hours here, so I'm gonna need to wrap it up here shortly. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. This is kind of fun. I'm going to probably do a few more passes on this. I got some other work here in the shop, but I need to get done. Um, I've been procrastinating. One of them isn't... I'm not going to get on the roof, so y'all don't have to worry about me getting trapped on the roof. That'd be my luck. I do it in the middle of the night, and I'm stuck on the roof all night. Now, i got to put these... i got to put together my honey mustard... Draco. <laughs> but if you want to know what that is, go check out the Cerakote review video. And then I get the M70 I need to put back together. I just need to make sure I have all the parts for them. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's true. And that's why I recommend people to get those JPTs and stuff. Like the most of what everybody else has. Because y'all would have an easier time finding information on how to operate them and everything else. I'm a dum-dum and I got this machine which is maybe like two or three in the country that I'm aware of. So I've had to learn everything on my own, which included testing and parameter settings and all that stuff. And so it's taken a long time, and I am glad I did it because now I have those resources available. But yeah, the testing part is does take some time. Yeah, I'll put it back up here. I am excited this worked. This, I popped in the 330. The one I did earlier this week, I used my 254. But I had that broken down in the 13 different pieces. This is one solid piece of artwork. This was a, uh, a hypothetical I wanted to test out. <laughs> yes, sir. It's like a, like a hidden store people don't really know about. It makes mailbox money, so I have it there. Um, just some fun stuff from over the years. I got Lady Guadalupe in there. The Texas version, like I put on my Kimber. And some other random stuff. But thank you, thank you. And my logo, by the way, fun fact, I should be getting my trademark finalized um, sometime in the next week or two. It's been almost a year since I submitted for all that and did all the paperwork. But I'm really excited about that. Trademarks last forever. Yeah, I, I didn't know this would work either. To be, I'm 100% honest. I came into this, cause I haven't seen anybody try it. And after doing a few ARs, I was like, I think you can do it. There's pros and cons to it. One, you're, you're kind of stuck with lasering this thing until it's done. If you use uh, smaller bites, you can take breaks and all that, but you risk also not lining your artwork up perfectly. And I think with this cleaned up, it's going to look really good. And adjusting the focus height, I think we're on the money here. I really do. Because it takes a lot of the, you know, accidental, you know, oops, it's off just a little bit type deals. But uh, I'll probably put this on my store too, just for you guys. Uh, but it's, it's so important that you have your focus height done right. Or it's not gonna be, it's not gonna do the full thing like I got it. Which isn't perfect. But I have one more. I may do another test tomorrow on. With a different design or something. Um, probably the same design, just so I have things to compare it to. But I think if I, if I adjust the focus height to where the highest point is a little bit higher, and the lowest point is a little bit lower, that'll be the magic spot. All right, Mr. Wang. Mr. Wayne's family, you all have a good one. Stay out of high water. Turn around, don't drown. Be safe. Don't street race. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I'll probably be here at the shop for another two hours. I think this is past six, so.
this will give me like at least 12. But I don't want to live stream the whole thing because when I live stream, I end up just standing here. I'm in front of the machine picture. I don't have a camera pointing out. I'm watching the. I got a. I got a TV above the machine that I'm seeing what y'all are seeing with the chat. Yeah, the bigger lenses are definitely a great tool to have. My usual lens size I use is a 254. And I don't recommend getting a 420 or anything bigger unless you got more power in your machine. It, it definitely cucks it up. With that being said, folks, I hope you have an awesome weekend. Thank you for tuning in. This has been a hypothetical testing scenario that wasn't supposed to work, but it did. And it's because you guys tuned in and the laser fairies gave us some good luck and I appreciate it. So I will see you all next time. I don't know how to end this. It's kind of awkward. But thank you guys <laughs> again. And I'm going to go like climb in the refrigerator because it's really hot in here. And you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, weekend. Drink plenty of water. Don't take rides from strangers. Okay? We'll see y'all next time.